Hello, it's Jessie here with Imagination Yoga. How are all of you today? I am so excited to be back teaching Imagination Yoga to all of you. It's been a, about a week since I did this last one and I've missed everybody. So today, what we're gonna be working on, and actually not just today, but for this whole week, all of the adventures, we're going to be focusing on gratitude. And what is gratitude? So one way to think about gratitude is an extra, extra, extra special thank you. Kind of like the most beautiful present that you've ever wrapped, like just fancy and delightful. It's a chance for you to think about things in your life that you are really, really grateful for. So a couple of things that I'm grateful for right now are, let's see here, my family, and the sunshine where I live, it has been very rainy and very cold for the last several days. So the fact that the sun is coming out today, I'm feeling very grateful for that. And also I'm very grateful for all of you that have turned, tuned in and watched Jamie and I teach imagination yoga. It has been fun to do yoga with all of you. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll think about gratitude as we go all the way through this yoga practice today. Okay, here we go. So I thought we could start a little bit different today and we'll do our big full yoga breaths standing up. Cause I don't know if you knew it or not, but you don't just have to do your yoga breaths sitting down. So we'll stand tall with our hands at our hearts and we'll take three big full yoga breaths together standing. Here we go. That's one, here we go again. Really reach. Two. side stretch today also, but we're going to do that one a little bit different. I actually just learned this one from one of my yoga teachers, Dina Lang. I was so excited to do yoga with her on Saturday and Sunday over the computer. So this is something she taught me that I wanted to teach you. So what we'll do is we'll step one foot over the other so that your toes connect to kind of like by where your pinky toe is. And then on the same side, lift that arm up and we're going to side stretch over this way. And if it feels okay, you can take this hand and go underneath. Great. Feel that side stretch. Wonderful. Then that high hand comes down and we step this foot over. Wonderful. Now we'll do it on the opposite side. So again, this foot steps over, just your toes are down. You can touch them to the edge of your foot. And then this hand will reach up and over. And if it feels okay, you can also bring this hand underneath. Maybe look up and take a deep breath. <sighs> Wonderful. High hand comes down, step your foot over. Fantastic. So one of the things I'm feeling very grateful for right now is the sun. The sun has come out. So let's do a few sun salutations together to warm up a little bit. Okay, whatever you're feeling grateful for, pick that up. Just imagine that you can pick it up and we'll lift it all the way up together. Here we go. Got it. Put what you're grateful for in your head and your heart. And all the way down. Come down. Put your hands down on the ground. Step your body back. Good. Lower your knees down. Lower your body down. Big, brave heart up. High over friends. Tuck your toes. Pop your tail into downward dog. Two slow breaths together. Look to your hands and step through. Think about something else you're grateful for. Hmm, I said it before, but I'll say it again. My family, I'm very grateful for my family. Here we go, we'll stand all the way up. Got it. Family in my head, heart, all the way down. Step back. Strong bodies, lower your knees down and your body. Brave heart up, high yoga friends. Tuck your toes, pop your tail. Two slow breaths and downward dog. And step through. One more thing that you're grateful for. Think about it. We'll lift it up. Got it. In our heads, in our hearts, all the way down. Step back. Lower down. High yoga friends. Slow breaths. And 
step through. And this time, stay at the top and on your feet. So my friends, today, the yoga adventure we're going to take is Imagine Yoga in a flower garden. So the first thing that we all get to do is decide the kind of flower that we want to be. And in my hand, I have some Imagination Yoga flower seeds. And in just a minute, I'm gonna throw it out there and I want you to catch the one that you need to become the flower that you know you're supposed to be. Are you ready? One, two, three, go, catch it. Did you get it? Great. Now take that seed, still up on your feet here, and we're gonna plant it. Plant it, down, 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 in the soil. Great, now my friends, you're gonna become that little flower seed. Imagine that you tuck down in. Close your eyes just for a moment. I want you to imagine exactly what you will look like when you turn into the flower that you imagine. What type of flower are you? What do your petals look like? What is the color? Maybe you have a special smell. Maybe there's a stem and some leaves. You know exactly what the special, unique flower is that you are going to become. You have to see it in your mind before you can make it happen. Got it? Okay, let's grow together. So, we feel a little bit of that warm sunshine on our back and we grow freeze. And then we feel some sprinkle of rain and we grow up a little bit more. Freeze. And then we know in our heart and our minds that all around us, everybody is growing and becoming into the most beautiful flower that they're meant to be. And that fills our heart with love. So we grow up, 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 all the way. Let your beautiful petals show. Fantastic. So beautiful. Now, dig your roots down. As much as you grew your flower petals, I want you to grow your roots down just that far. Super steady into the ground. And then we'll practice our balance. Lift up one foot, rest your heel on your ankle, and maybe you can lift up a little further but stay below your knee and balance. Five, four, three, two, one, fantastic, hands come down, feet come down. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do that on the opposite side now. So grow, 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 grow. Flower petals all the way up, reach. And then we'll balance on the opposite side. Tree pose. Find your balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your feet down, but keep your hands up because you feel something adorable tickling your little flower petals. Bring your hands down. Do you know what it is? It is the most adorable little bee that's landed on your flower petals because you bloomed and became beautiful and perfect and fantastic, which you already were. That bee got to show up and eat the delicious food. And what will that bee make? Hmm think some honey. So let's turn into that bee now. So what we'll do is we'll step back with one foot. Great. And then your front foot points straight ahead and we're going to bend that front knee right over the ankle. And then my friends, can you show me your little bee wings? Sort of flap them. Here we go. And then we fly up, 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 up. And we find ourselves in warrior one. Can you take a deep breath, bees? Now, let's take a delicious drink of that flower's pollen. So, bring your body forward. Hands come back. Take a little drink. Take a deep breath. So good, you little bees. Bring your bodies back up. Step your back leg forward, and we're gonna do it on the opposite side. Here we go. Step one leg, that leg back. Your front leg is gonna bend your knee. Bring up your little wings. Here we go. This is uh, Jack's favorite. So then we fly up, 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 up. And we land where? In warrior one, that's right. Deep breath. Now we'll take a drink from the beautiful flowers. Hands come down, body comes forward. And we take a drink. Mm. 
This bee is so grateful for this flower. And then you come up, 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 up. Delicious, delicious nectar. Step your back foot forward, come to the center of your mat. What an honor to be such a, a beautiful flower that helped out that family of bees. So I'd like you now to just stand like this with your feet together and your hands forward, coming back to being that beautiful flower that we grew into. Close your eyes and then imagine you can feel the sun shining on your face. Feel the sun helping you to grow. Maybe you can imagine that you can feel the wind. Take a deep breath from the clean air. And feel grateful for everything around you. Open your eyes now, friends. As wonderful as that sunshine felt, I feel a little bit thirsty. I think that we should get a little bit of a watering can out and water this flower garden. So step your feet apart, my friends. We're going to imagine to turn our bodies into a flower, a watering can to water this flower garden. So take your feet and turn them in that direction, just like that. Then your arms come out and we're going to tip over. One hand comes down near your knee, our opposite hand reaches up high. Now this, with this hand, we're going to imagine that we water the garden. Here we go. The flowers say, thank you. Lift our bodies back up. Hands come down. We'll go the opposite way now. Feet turn, feet turn. We'll water this side of the garden so your arms come out. You reach and tip. Great, reach your hand high. Maybe even look up at the sky. Ah. And then we'll water this side. I wonder what it sounds like when you water your garden, but it's a different sound than I'm making. And then we'll lift our strong bodies back up. Hands come down and our feet come together. So now my friends, I want you to imagine again, remember how we talked about the roots that that flower had grown? Deep down in that root, in the soil, the roots have grown, but there is another very special animal that lives in the garden that really helps the flower out. You know what it is? It's a worm. Worms dig through the soil and help the flower. So let's imagine that we turn into a funny little worm. What I want you to do is come down onto your hands and knees and then bring your legs back into a long, strong plank worm. And then we're gonna inch our way through the soil. So lift your body up, 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 up and then bring your body forward. That's one little inch. And then when we go up, 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 and then bring your body forward. We are really working through this soil, helping the flowers, roots, have an easier time being in the soil. The garden really needs everybody working together. One more time. We'll go up, 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 and forward. Wonderful. Come onto your hands and knees and then sit back on your heels because the next beautiful thing that we see in the flower garden is a ladybug. And ladybugs are so important in the garden because they actually eat the bugs that are not helpful for the garden. So we're going to imagine that we turn into beautiful ladybugs. So we're sitting on our heels. Take your belly and stick it to your legs and then take your forehead and reach it down towards the yoga mat or the floor. And maybe even reach your hands back. Really rest here. Great, and child's pose. And I'm gonna look up and I want you to keep your head down and just listen. So I want you to imagine that on your back is a ladybug shell. Breathe into that shell. And imagine what color that shell is, if it has shapes on it, Maybe it has spots, maybe it's a different shape. How many are there? Really see that shell. Breathe into it again. Really breathe deep. One more deep breath in child's pose here, imagining your shell. And then we start to spring ourselves up, 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 up up to sitting and then let your wings
wings come out of your shell. Show me your beautiful ladybug wings, just like this. Oh, beautiful. Maybe you even come up this next time. And now, so graceful. And now. Go ahead and sit on your bottom now. Bring your feet together in front. I've had such a wonderful time with each and every one of you in this flower garden. And if we think about it, all of the things in the garden needed one another. All of you had to grow up into the beautiful flowers that you're meant to be. And the bees found us. And because the bees found us, they were able to make honey and feed their babies. And because we were there, the worms were down in the ground and they were making paths for our roots. And because the, we were there, the ladybug was there to find a delicious meal. Everything needs each other. And everyone showing up as their best selves is exactly what we need to do to help ourselves and to help other people. So now my friends, the last pose we'll do today is a butterfly, you know it. So if you haven't already, close your eyes. And today I want you to imagine exactly what you would look like if you were a butterfly flitting around this beautiful flower garden. What color are your wings? What shape? Are they fast or slow? Maybe they sprinkle something special for the garden. And once you know exactly what they look like, open your eyes. We're going to put our antennas on. And we're going to fly up over that garden. So we flap up, up, up. We say goodbye, beautiful flowers. Goodbye, worms. Goodbye, ladybug. Goodbye, watering can. Up, 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 up. And we're going to land back down at home where we started. Put your head in now. Take a deep breath. And roll yourself all the way up to sitting. Just like this. And can I tell you, my friends, one of the things, normally I teach these classes in front of so many kids, and I miss seeing all of my kids' faces, so I was wondering if you would want to. One of the things that we do sometimes in our classes is after we've imagined like this, we go back and we find some paper and some crayons and some markers or, cray or colored pencils, maybe even paint if you have it. And then we draw or color or paint what we imagined in our minds. So if you had time today and you love art, maybe you could draw a picture of what you were when you were imagining to be a beautiful flower or when you were being the ladybug. I would love to see what your flower garden looks like. Could you paint it up and post it up? and tag me in it, Imagination Yoga or Jesse McClintock. I would love to see it. I miss seeing what all of my kids and all of my friends are imagining. So if you have time, I'd love to see them. So let's finish our yoga adventure the way that we always do. We're gonna bring our hands together here. But before we say anything else, I want you actually to take your hands and turn them this way and feel your own heart beating. Maybe find gratitude for your own healthy body right now. If you can hear sounds in your room, maybe they're your, from your family or your animals, find gratitude for them. Maybe you can hear sounds outside from other people doing their best to keep you and others safe and healthy right now, find gratitude for them. Take a deep breath. Even when things seem super, super hard, finding things to be grateful for can help. Hands come to heart center. Say it with me, friends. Kind hearts, kind words, kind thoughts. Kind hearts, kind words, kind thoughts. Last time. Kind hearts, kind words, kind thoughts. The best in me honors the best in each and every one of you. Thank you for doing yoga with me again today. Um, it's such an honor to get to teach you yoga. So I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, find something uh, that you're grateful for. Share it. Share it with your family. Share it with each other. I'd love to hear about it. And if you feel like making some art, I'd love to see that too. I miss my yoga friends. And I love each and every one of you. We'll see you soon. 
Uh, namaste. Bye, everybody.